always wanted to create, to build our own home, to have something where we have space to grow. So we looked around London and we needed to stay in London because this is where our staff are from. And also, London is basically why we have the Brompton. It's because of London. It's, it's needed in London. You know, if you live in the middle of the countryside, you don't need a folding bike. So that's always been our ambition. But post-COVID, I mean, rents for this type of stuff are going through the roof. So we are at a point where now it's not possible for us to continue to grow at the size we are in London. So you talk about the importance of London and that's where your staff are from. Why then move the factory to Ashford, to one of the home counties? Amazingly, and it wasn't sort of front and centre of our mind. Ashford came to us, we met them, and we're like, hold on, here's Ashford, half an hour by train from London. People don't need to work in the office every day anymore. So we can still reach in and get that cool, interesting London talent. They can come out to our cool factory two days a week. And then the people that are a bit older, they've been with us for a longer period of time, they start having a family. Guess what? We lose people here in Greenford because if they have a couple of children, you suddenly find, well, it's like 400 grand for a tiddly little flat. Well, maybe they can move out of London and actually 400 grand, you can get yourself a three bedroom semi in Ashford and have a better quality of life. So it still gives us that really important connection to London. It's a very good connection from Ashford to London and it gives us the opportunity for our staff potentially to have more affordable housing. And it's on the railway line going to Paris, going to Brussels, because we're furiously um, international. We export all over the world and that connection into Europe is really important. How long is that move going to take from Greenford to Ashford and will you be expecting your staff to go with you? I mean, this is lofty ambition stuff, but we hope to open the new factory in Ashford in about five years time. Then we'll have a five year transition where we keep both sites running. So there'll be, I mean, really it's 10 years before this place finishes so most people aren't in a job for 10 years not in today's world so everyone's got loads of time we have phenomenally loyal staff and there will be tons of opportunity and tons of time for move and it's not going to be a sort of drop dead one day to the next you'd have to make your decision it'll be over a long period of time we've gone to ashford not just because it's got the talent in London, that's one part, but it has phenomenal talent right there and in Kent. So there's huge opportunity to, to, to bring in that talent and we're working with local um, academies and the local university to think forward and try and think, well, what talent might we need? And can we do work on the degree course to start preparing that talent for when we arrive? Tell us about the design of the new Ashford factory, because it's very futuristic, isn't it? There's a, an emphasis on sustainability, isn't there? It's going to be a very, very smart Industry 4.0 fully automated facility. What we want is a site that we'll, 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 has the flexibility to, to grow and evolve with us over the next 10, 20, 30 years. So at the moment, we're doing about 80,000 out of this factory, and we have room for growth. If we get Ashford up and running, we should be, between the two sites, have the capacity for about 300,000. But we've got a way to go yet. It's a huge growth for the company. What is the future for Brompton? Let's get on your bike. Get on your electric bike. Don't bring in a flipping Tesla that weighs two tons to drag you around. Bring in a bicycle that weighs 12 kilos to move you around. That's a much more efficient electric transport system than a 2,000 kilo chunk of metal. There's tons of carbon in that. So, and that, that flick of the switch, not just in the UK, in Europe, in North America, in Japan, in South Korea is happening. An investment in rethinking of cities is coming. So it's a pretty exciting time for us.